This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Folklore of the Santal Parangas Translated by Cecil Henry Bompas Part 1 XII The Changed Calf Recorded by Tim Bulkley BigBible.org There was once a cowherd named Sona, who'd saved a few rupees, and he wanted to buy a calf so as to have something to show for his labours and he went to a distant village and bought a bull-calf, and on the way home he was benighted. So he turned into a Hindu village, and went to an oilman's house, and asked to be allowed to sleep there. When the oilman saw such a fine calf, he coveted it, and he told Sona to put it in the stable along with his own bullock, and he gave him some supper and let him sleep on the veranda. But in the middle of the night the oilman got up and moistened some oil-cake and plastered it over the calf. Then he untied his own bullock, and made it lick the oil-cake off the calf. And as the bullock was accustomed to eat oil-cake, it licked it greedily. Then the oilman raised a cry. The bullock that turns the oil-mill has given birth to a calf. All the villagers collected, and saw the bullock licking the calf, and they believed the oil-man. Sona did not wake up, and knew nothing of all this. The next morning he got up, and went to untie his calf and drive it away, but the oilman would not let him, and claimed the calf as his own. Then Sona called the villagers to come and decide the matter, but they said that they had seen him bring no calf to the village, and he had not called any of them to witness it. But they had seen the bullock licking the calf. Why should the bullock lick any but its own calf? No one ever saw a bullock lick a strange bullock or cow. So they awarded the calf to the oilman. Then Sona said that he would call someone to argue the matter, and he went away meaning to get some men from the next village. But he lost his way in the jungle, and as he went along a night-jar flew up from under his feet. He called out to it to stay, as he was in great distress, and the bird alighted and asked what was the matter. And Sona told it his trouble. Then the night-jar said that it would argue the matter for him, but that it must have a colleague, and it told Sona to go on and ask the first living being he met to help. So he went on and met a jackal, and the jackal agreed to help the night-jar, and they told him to call the villagers to the edge of the village, but not to let them bring any dogs with them. So Sona brought all the villagers to the jungle, and the night-jar and the jackal sat side by side on a stone. Then Sona asked the villagers whether they would let him take away the calf or no, and they persisted in their previous opinion. At last one man said, "'What are your advocates doing? It seems to me that they are asleep.' At this the two woke up with a start, and looked about them, and the night-jar said, "'I have been asleep, and dreamed a dream. Will you men please hear it, and explain its meaning?' And the jackal said, "'I too have had a dream. Please explain it for me.' If you can explain the meaning, you shall keep the calf, and if not, the boy shall have it." The villagers told them to speak, and the night-jar said, "'I saw two night-jars' eggs, and one egg was sitting on the other. No mother-bird was sitting on them. Tell me what this means.' And the jackal said, "'I saw the sea was on fire, and the fishes were all being burnt up, and I was busy eating them, and that's why I did not wake up. What is the meaning of this dream?' And the villagers said, the two dreams are both alike. Neither has any meaning. An egg can't sit on an egg, and the sea cannot catch fire. The jackal said, Why cannot it be? If you won't believe that the water can catch fire, why do you say that a bullock gave birth to a calf? Have you ever seen such a thing? Speak. And they admitted that they had never seen a bullock have a calf, but only cows. Then, said the jackal, explain why you have given the oilman a decree and they admitted that they were wrong, and awarded the calf to Sona, and fined the oilman five rupees for having deceived them. End of the Changed Calf